Hey everybody, it's Pastor Kevin. Thank you for joining with me. Uh, I want to say before we begin uh, how grateful I am to God uh, to be able to pray for you each day. And not only do uh, I pray for you, but of course you see uh, as well the staff prays for you guys. We pray for this church, for this community, uh, for each of you and, and for your needs as we know them. And we, we covet the ability to pray to God who hears and answers prayer. And we pray that you would be praying for us as well. This is a, a, a stressful and difficult time as we prepare for the Christmas season, which is an absolute joy. Um, but there is great difficulty in preparing for it this year. And the, our staff, who are just such wonderful people, they work tirelessly and, uh, and have been working tirelessly for, for months and months, uh, seeking to bless, seeking to bless. And I know this, that... Um, in this very frustrating, difficult time with all of the pandemic uh, woes about us, with all of the um, difficulty in trying to discern a way forward that, that blesses uh, all people to the fullest extent that is possible. Of course, that's been an incredible challenge this year. I hope that there's mercy in your heart for the ways that we uh, have fallen short uh, and that uh, there's mercy in your heart for the ways that, that everyone has in this past year that one side or the other, um, well, this isn't just a binary thing um, with one or another side. And we're all together a community of people whom God loves, uh, who God redeems, who God calls together. Uh, and it's my prayer that as you pray for us and we pray uh, for you and, and we all pray for our community here, uh, that we keep those things in mind, that the Lord God desires our blessing and that the blessing that he has selected for his people is to gather us together. Uh, if not physically, then certainly in our hearts. In our hearts that are inclined uh, to love one another uh, just as God in Christ has loved us. And one of the ways, of course, we do that is we pray for one another. And so let us begin today. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us and hear us. Let's begin with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And let's recite the Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now, I had mentioned last time that there are two prayers appointed uh, for this week, the third week in the season of Advent. And so let's pray together the second of those two prayers. Lord, hear our prayers and come to us, bringing light into the darkness of our hearts. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Friends, I don't know if you ever have a difficult time praying, uh, finding yourself in the mood <laughs> to, uh, to come before our Lord. Uh, it is a difficult thing from time to time. Uh, through the magic of editing, you won't know this, but I have spent about 30 minutes trying to get through <laughs> praying uh, for today's prayers, but in our uh, lovely little downstairs uh, recording area that we've set aside, there is a pipe which apparently vents some type of pressure. It makes just the most atrocious noises you could ever imagine, and uh, uh, it, it is quite the frustrating affair. And so I, uh, I would pray for hope uh, in this life uh, for each of us. Um, uh, but I'm abandoning hope that this pipe is going to grant me relief. And so let, let me pray one of the prayers that are appointed uh, uh, 
but I, I, I want you to, I want you to know, guys, we pray for you daily. Uh, if you ever find yourself in this situation where, uh, whether it's frustration or, or whatever, here it comes. Uh, 30 minutes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. I'll tell you, if you want to pray for something, pray for uh, for the staff of Trinity Lutheran Church uh, and, uh, and just give thanks to God. Uh, friends, it is absolutely a miracle that he hears our prayers it is as much as we sometimes must be frustrated and, and have challenges. God above sees us and sees all of this going on. Uh, he loves us in spite of it and through it. And because of it, um, he's always at work, always doing what's best and what's good. And, and, um, and we're fortunate. What a, what an absolute blessing our Lord is. <laughs> so, Lord, if you have frustrations today, no, I hold you in my prayers in a special way today uh, as as we share the fellowship of suffering. Uh, but in the name of getting this done before those things kick back on again, uh, let us pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray that you would so guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, may the Lord bless and keep you. Make his, light, his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.